went to Gulaya Bay, we have a wonderful afternoon. This morning, we just did Pia Glacier. As you realize, now we are departuring, we are leaving. So every time that you hear the noise and the ship start vibrating, it's not because we are anchoring. It's not because we are wrecking into a rock. It's because we are taking the anchor up and the captain is using the bow thruster that makes the ship vibrate a lot before we go, okay? Now, we will go to a side, to a sister fjord or parallel fjord of Pia Glacier that is the Gari Valdi Fjord. What we will encounter over here is a panoramic navigation in front of the glacier. Okay, let me be more specific. The main difference from this morning is that instead of being frozen in front of the glacier, now you will be relaxing inside, warm, having a seat, taking a nice drink, maybe a margarita, maybe a calafate sour, enjoying the view of the glacier without even getting outside, okay? That is the main difference. The ship is able to reach almost to the very front of the glacier thanks to the depth of the fjord. Here is not possible because you saw that it's not very dead, right? That's the main reason. We approach and we will reach up to 180, 140 meters. So 100 meters closer than this morning. Pretty crisp with the ship, of course. Easier. This is more or less what you will see. And the bridge will be open so you can have pictures from the bridge with the captain and the officers. So, there you go, more action. You can go outside of the bridge, but Chris, I saw that it's like a little bridge outside of the bridge. Huh? Yes, there is. Can you go there? Yes, you can. This afternoon, the captain will have the door open for everyone, so you can visit right over there. Now, do we have Another activity, Chris, because we read in the program something different, something about an excursion. Yes, but this excursion is for the super hyper califragilisticus pialidosos hikers that we have on board. This is a high difficulty level excursion, not because we are jogging or running uphill. No, no, no. It's because we have many obstacles in the way. So, more or less, this, trees. We will cross a river. What do you mean with a river? Exactly a river. So, are we getting wet? Yes, we are. Are we getting muddy? Yes, we are. Guarantee, my friends. So, if you want to go back in time and be a kid again, like, remember what mom was saying? Get out of the water, you will, but I like it. <laughs> now that we are all adults, we can do that on purpose, see? So, we will go through a river, we will go through mud, we will pass obstacles, we will have to scramble. Yes, we will have to use our hands. It is mandatory. This is for the people that want to do the excursion. That's why we have an inscription at the reception desk. We will go through a forest, a very nice subantarctic forest, following a river. We will cross the river and then we will start going up. When we start going up, what we will encounter is a very steep part, that's why we have ropes on both sides, because it's also very slippery and we will need strength to go up. More or less 60 degrees inclination, very, very steep. But better than works, it's a video, so let's have a small look over here. We arrive with the Zodiacs, and then you cannot regret because the ships start entering into the fjord. They will leave us before entering to the fjord. We will go through cliffs, we will go through a cave, we start going up, see, people are happy, yoo -hoo. tired but happy, very important. Holding trees, going in between rocks. As you see, always using your hands, 
because you will need them for this excursion. Going through very narrow places, and then we cross a river. This time was in September, so the river was almost frozen. As you can see, not too much streaming. Now it's not like this, my friends. Now we have a lot of water. That's why we've got to tee it, all right? Under the trees, over the trees, whatever suits you better to go up. As you see, it is necessary to use your hands and your feet, of course, to go upper. And then the ropes are going to be almost mandatory because you will need them to go up. And this is the beginning of the steepest part. And you're thinking, is that worth it? Well, we will reach this spot with a huge waterfall. As I said before, almost no water in this video because this was made in September when it was snow, everything was frozen. Now, summertime, a lot of water running down. Okay? Summertime, yes, and it still looks like this, right? So, mud, guarantee. Water, too. Fun, we guarantee you fun too. Okay? Of course. Um, we go since the beginning until the end, okay? It's very important that you make your decision on board, not at the excursion, because the ship will departure going inside of the fjord. So if you regret, you will have to wait at the beach by yourself, frozen up. So it's not a good idea. Then we start reembarking and we come back to the ship. Something very important is that if we do the excursion, we do not see the glacier. So that's why you have to choose. Do we want a nice glacier warm inside of the ship, having a sip with a nice cup of whiskey and wine, or I go to play in the ground with Chris and the other crazy guys that will go uphill? It depends up to you. We will accept any crazy one that wants to go with us. 